गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव स्टार्टेड आर चैप्टर वर्क एंड एनर्जी एंड ये स्टडी वी हैव स्टडीड वर्क डन आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड वट इज वर्क डन वी ऑल्सो हैव स्टडीड एस आई यूनिट ऑफ वर्क इज जूल सो स्टूडेंट्स देन वट इज वन जूल वन जूल ऑफ वर्क इज डन or you can say one joule of is the amount of work done when one newton of force is applied on the object and displaces it 1 meter in the direction of applied force you also know that work is scalar quantity just i am showing you now you see i am moving you are also seeing that i am moving as i am moving you all can say work is done by me because i am applying force in the some direction in forward direction and as i am applying force i am moving i am my body is displaced from one position to another position this means i have done the work can you see me that work is scalar quantity or vector quantity vector quantity you are knowing that if the body is displaced in certain specific direction but here as i am moving my body is displaced in certain specific direction that is the direction of displacement i have applied force in certain specific direction that is the direction of my applied force so force is vector quantity displacement is vector quantity but can you see me that as i am moving where is my work done in which direction i am doing work no direction because work needs energy to do and energy doesn't have any direction so here you will see that work done is scalar quantity today i'll teach you work done along when the force is not along the direction of motion here what i am applying force in this direction i am moving in the same direction of the force but what happens when the force is body is moving not along the direction of motion that means not along the direction of force applied motion of the body is not along the direction of force applied so let us see the student take one toy car tie a thread in this toy car and pull the thread in the this direction as i have shown a p but as you are applying force in this direction and this toy car is moving in this direction same as you just take a toy car and apply force in this direction but the body is moving in this direction so here what you are seeing force applied and the motion of the body is not in the same direction so what we will do here let us take a theta t h e t a theta is the angle between force and displacement we know that work done is equal to force into displacement now students how we should find the force or displacement and the relation between these two because both are in another direction that means not in the same direction so here we are going to find the vertical component or horizontal component of force relate the force with horizontal component or relate the displacement with vertical component then only you will find that the body is will move along the direction of the force so for relating this means we have to find out the relation of force and displacement for this relation i have just drop the component of force on the horizontal direction of 
displacement so drop one perpendicular on ab as we have dropped the perpendicular on ab you see that angle b this point is b b is 90 degree now you see what is the work done work force what we have done force we have found the force in terms of horizontal component that is x axis so component of force in direction of displacement into displacement so here you will see from right angle triangle a b p a b p cos theta is equal to base in by hypotenuse base has become a b and hypotenuse is a p because this is the 90 degree and opposite of this angle we are saying that is hypotenuse so a b by a p a b by a p this you have got it so a b is equal to we can write a p into cos theta so a b is equal to a p cos theta a p is F because this AP is displaced or you can say we have found the relation with horizontal x axis so F cos theta you know work done is equal to F into S but F we have found F cos theta so I have written F cos theta into S AB in the direction of AB so now when this is just this uh, displaced on this or found the component on x axis so both has came on the same direction and easily you can find f cos theta into s so what we have done the work what we have got work done work done is equal to f cos theta this cos theta is in trigonometry and when you will go in standard 10 you will study the trigonometry but only in standard 9 you remember the formula that cos theta is equal to base by hypotenuse and we have got it so here i have i am showing you what happens if we change the value of theta if we change the value of theta if the value of theta is 0 degree then value of cos theta is equal to 1. If theta is 90 degree, value of cos theta is equal to 0. And if theta is 180 degree, the value of cos theta is equal to minus 1. So up to this you will do rest we will do in next class.